Now moving on to the next example, we are going to try to solve another type of inequalities. So where we have like two sets of inequalities being put together. So we are going to try to solve by taking it into two different cases and then combine that to get our final answer. So for the first case, we can take the value of x over x minus 1 greater than or equals to negative 1. Okay, so what we have here is x um, over x minus 1 is greater than or equals to negative 1 and the second case we have so we are going to close negative 1 we are going to have x over x minus 1 okay uh, less than or equals to 4 okay so now we are going to proceed to simplify our function uh, so to simplify our inequalities so that we have one side equals to zero so solve that one by one so for this side we are going to have x over x minus one plus one is greater than or equals to zero okay and then simplify this one we are going to have x plus x minus one divided by x minus one is greater than or equals to zero and finally, on the last step, we simplify this. We are going to have 2x minus 1 over x minus 1 greater than or equals to 0. Okay, and then we try to simplify this side. So again, we want to make sure we have 0 on one side. So x over x minus 1 minus 4 is less than or equals to 0. Okay, simplify this fraction. And we are going to have x minus 4 times x minus 1 over with x minus 1 is greater than less than and equals to 0. And the final step, simplify this. And we are going to have negative 3x plus 4 over with x minus 1 is less than or equals to 0. Okay, remember that these two terms are linked with the term and. Okay, so next step is we are trying to separate this into two different cases. Okay, so here we have this one is case 1 and this is case 2. Okay, so we are going to try to simplify this by solve checking case by case. Okay. Okay, so for the first case, we are trying to check the critical value. Remember the second step um, for using table of sign, we must check the critical value. So take case 1 and we are going to take the final inequalities from what we have simplified here. So we are going to have 2x minus 1 over with x minus 1 is greater than or equals to 0. Okay, so when we have this, then we will take this value to find our critical value. So to check the critical values, now after we have this inequality, we must let, so let 2x minus 1 equals to 0 and x will be 1 over 2. And the second condition, we take x minus 1 equals to 0 and x will be 1. Now we are going to take uh, check the table of sign for us to, to find a solution for this case. Okay, so let's check the table of sign. So now we are going to check the intervals. Okay, so we have 1 over 2 and 1 for the critical value. Now we what we have here is we must check the inequality sign. So for 1 over 2, this one have the equal sign. So that's a full dot there. And then for the case where the critical value is 1, we know that it is the denominator. So the number down here cannot take the value of 0. So that's why it's going to be an open circle here. Okay, so for the interval for this one, that is 1 and infinity. And here we are going to have 1 over 2 and 1. Okay, so this one is square bracket, uh, close bracket, and this one is open bracket, open interval. This one is negative infinity and 1 over 2. Okay, so test value that we can take here is maybe 0, 0 0.7, and maybe we can take this one 2. Okay, so if you plug in 0 in this one, we're going to have negative. 0 minus 1 is negative. 0 0.7 over here, we're going to get positive. 0 0.7, we're going to get negative here. And if we plug in 2 over here, we're going to get a positive value. This one is also a positive value. Okay, and if we check downwards, negative and negative will be a positive. 
positive negative will be a negative positive positive is a positive number okay now we are going to check the solution for the first case so we have over here this is greater than zero so we must check for a positive answer okay so positive meaning we have these two values okay these two solution so check the solution therefore the solution will be let's take the interval here so the interval is negative infinity 1 over 2 um, union with so we have 1 sorry it's a union with 1 and positive infinity okay so that is the solution for the first case now let's check the second case for the second case we are going to take this value down here okay the inequality here Okay, so we are going to have negative 3x plus 4 over with x minus 1 less than or equals to 0. So we are going to check the critical value for this inequality. So we are going to let negative 3x plus 4 equals to 0. And the second one, we have x minus 1 equals to 0. So negative 3x plus 4 equals to 0, meaning our value for x will be 4 over 3. Okay, and over here, x will be equals to 1. Okay, so now let's check the test value. Let's We have created a table. Now let's complete the table of sign method. Okay, so here we try to put the critical value. So between 1 and 4 over 3, 1 is smaller and this side is 4 over 3. Okay, that is the number there. Okay, here it's going to be positive infinity. This one is negative infinity. So for this one, for 1, again, the denominator must not be equal to 0. So that is an open interval open bracket this one is a closed bracket okay so let's put let's put the value for the interval negative infinity and one and then we're gonna have one and four over three uh, the next one we have four over three and positive infinity okay let's take the test value maybe we can take this one zero the one and four over three we can take one point two here we can take the value of two okay if if we substitute zero in the first value so the sign will be a positive zero minus one will be a negative 1.2 over here that's going to get us a positive value 1.2 minus one that will also be positive two substitute here we're going to get negative okay negative six plus four that's still negative and then this one will be a positive 2 minus 1. So going downwards, we are going to have positive and negative will be a negative. Positive, positive will be a positive. And negative and positive will be a negative. Okay, so now let's check our, our final solution. For this part, for this case 2, this is less than 0. So less than 0 will take a negative value. Okay, we'll check for the negative. Okay, so negative is this one and also this one. So the solution that we will take is that is going to be negative infinity 1 union with, um, so this one the interval is 4 over 3 positive infinity. So that is the solution for the second case. Now we are going to check for the next step where we are going to combine the solution together. So now, after we have found the solution for the two different cases of inequalities, we are trying to find the final solution. So to find the final solutions, what we must do is we must compare the cases, the solution for case 1 and 2, we must compare. So what are the steps that is required for us to compare this is we have to check for the solutions. So what we have from the inequality, from the first part over here, Okay, so what we have when we separate into the two two different inequalities, this one and this one. So what we have there, we are going to check that back. Okay, so what we have over here just now, we have when we separate the inequalities, we already have 2x minus 1 over x minus 1 greater than or equal to 0. And this is the second case, right? Case 1 and case 2. Okay, so now we have case 1 intersect with case 2. This one, we already know from the previous lecture, when we have end 
uh, for our inequalities meaning that we have to use the intersection okay not the union union is for all so then we, we put our solution for each cases so these are the two solution for our case one and case two and now we are trying to find the intersection of these two cases what we are going to do is we are trying to use the number line for us to check for the final answer Okay, so now let's plot this on the number line. So we have negative infinity and half. Okay, so from 1 over 2, we have it moving to the left. Okay, because it's moving to negative infinity. And that is an, a closed interval. So that is a full circle there. Okay, and then we have 1 to infinity. Okay, so moving to the right, that is an open circle. That is for case 1. Now, let's take a look at case 2 for our answer. Now, we're going to have case 2. So, let's say, so the answer here, we have negative infinity to 1. So, 1 to the right, sorry, to the left. Okay, because it's negative infinity. So, 1 is an, a closed interval. Okay, and then we have 4 over 3 to infinity. So 4 over 3 moving to the right, that is an, a closed interval there. Okay, so now what we are going to check is we are going to check the, this interval, the intersection of these two interval. Okay, so now let's check for the intersection between these two intervals. Okay, so we try to plot different value here okay remember that we have two like two stages for the first case and the second case okay so we are trying to find a region or the an interval where these two cases these two solution intersect so look at the first interval which is less than one over two so this one we have both lines right so that's an intersection and then for this one, we only have on case 2 but no, no lines on case 1. This one, we don't have any line for case 2 and we have line for case 1. So this one, we have again both line for both cases. Okay. So now, we know that these two are the intervals of the solution. So now, the final answer, the solution for this case is... Okay, so we are going to put the interval together. If it is in interval form, so we know that this one is to the left of 1 over 2. So the number will take negative infinity to 1 over 2. This one is an open interval. 1 over 2, so look at the, the dot here. That's a full circle, right? So that is inclusive. Okay, and union with, so this one is 4 over 3. To positive infinity so if for the answer in solution set we are going to have x where x is less than 1 over 2 or okay so be careful just now we took an intersection right so that is an n so we find for the intersection however for the final answer because it is the combination of these two values that we are looking for, that is why the answer is union and it will be OR for our solution set. So OR x is greater than or equals to 4 over 3. Right? So these are the final solution, final answer for this example. So let's just go through, recap on this example a bit. So we try to solve this by first we check on different conditions. So we break down into two cases. Okay, we have it in this one, equals to less than or equals to zero. And then we have it on for the second case. After we have found the second, uh, these two separate cases, we try to find the solution for each cases by using table of sign. So we do the table of sign method and find the solution for the uh, case one. Okay, and then do the same thing for the case two. Okay, create the table of signs, check all the values and all the signs. Then we got the solution, the final solution. So this is the final solution for case 2. And then what we need to do is we must 
compare between case 1 and case 2. So what we did here is we compare case 1 and case 2 by using AND. Okay, so we must find the intersection of the two cases. We plot a number line. Okay, and then find the intersection between the two solution, the two cases. And then we're going to get our final answer. So these two parts, two region are the intersection for these two cases and finally we got our final answer solution we can write down either in interval form or in solution set so i hope that is clear for you and you can try the next example on your own thank you now before we end our lecture for today so please try to do this question and fill in the answer as a proof of your attendance for today. So I hope that you are able to understand our lecture for today. And I hope that our learning objective is achieved. So please check uh, your understanding. And make sure that you don't hesitate to ask around if you have any problems. So see you in the next lecture. Thank you.